I throw what I need into a bay, run into the ship, and blast off. I've, I've got to get off this planet. It's, it's, it's found me. It's coming out. You know what I'm talking about? Plastic. That's right. Now, the plastic problem is, is overwhelming me. Now, uh, I've been hopeful ever since growing up thanks to reduce, reuse, recycle. Now, recycling seemed like the easiest thing, uh, but my friends would repeatedly throw recyclables into the garbage, which, uh, you know, I would, because the garbage can was just closer, so I would, I would preach about how their laziness was killing the planet, and, uh, and, you know, they would call me tree hugger and largely ignore me, which, ow, yes, yes, I know, is uh, not a good tactic. You know, guilt and shame, not great tactics for convincing people to change their behavior. So I decided to look at the science of recycling, and that's, uh, that's when I started to lose hope. Turns out recycling plastic is, um, complicated. The number one to seven uh, inside the recycling symbol doesn't tell you something's recyclable, but rather the category of plastic. Plastics can only be recycled with other plastics of the same type, and there's thousands of different plastics, each with different properties. Category numbers one, two, and five are typically the most recycled. These are things like pop and shampoo bottles, but recycling facilities are nearly as different as plastics, and so I learned that throwing plastic things in the blue bin and just crossing my fingers does not make something recyclable. No. 9% in estimates of all plastic ever produced has been recycled. Just 9%. So, what is all the other plastic up to? Well, most of it is just sort of, uh, hanging out. Persisting for centuries as micro and nanoplastics. These teeny tiny plastics get blown all over the planet picking up harmful, toxic dioxins and disease-causing bacteria, and when they're eaten by animals, they impact digestion and growth, providing no nutritional value, and then get passed up the food chain and can even reach humans. And when plastics do break down, they release harmful compounds like endocrine-disrupting chemicals. This is, have you ever seen a BPA-free sticker on a plastic product? Well, BPA, bis but bisphenol A, was widely used in the production of three and number seven type plastics but was found to leach into food and drink containers. This is bad because BPA acts like estrogen, which uh, causes issues for people of all ages from abnormal fetal development to infertility. <clears throat> Though BPA was banned in baby bottles, it's still in a bunch of other plastics, like the lining of canned foods. In terms of many non-BPA plastics, also release chemicals that act like estrogen. So, plastics, you know, they're, they're hard to recycle. They don't break down, which is bad, but they do break down, which is also bad. And lots of the green products in grocery stores are owned by giant companies who pollute a lot, and they're still plastic. So what, what could I do? I was in a downward spiral of, of cynicism and skepticism with my hope that I could make change plummeting drastically. And then, like a true millennial, I was saved by a meme. It said, we don't need a handful of people doing zero waste perfectly. We need millions of people doing it imperfectly. And it hit me! I, any plastic I didn't buy was plastic that wouldn't end up in the environment, and that was a good thing. Being perfect doesn't matter. I can do this one step at a time. So I searched out local zero-waste shop that, shops that produce ingenious plastic alternatives for almost every need. And though they, uh, though they can be a little more expensive at first, I've definitely saved money in the long term. I also saved money after learning that reduce, reuse, recycle is in that order for a reason. First up, reduce. Reduce the amount of stuff I buy and waste I produce by replacing dryer sheets with wool dryer balls and wrapping paper with magazine pages. Next, reuse. Things like reusable produce mesh bags instead of single-use plastic bags and buying clothes and furniture secondhand. Finally, recycling. Checking what plastic my local recycling depot can accept and cleaning containers before recycling them. Plastic pollution was an overwhelming problem that had me ready to hop in the spaceship and blast off. And then, the product that really changed things for me? Toothpaste tablets. Little tablet you chew into a paste and then brush your teeth like normal, and a friend calls space toothpaste. And that got me thinking, what if instead of using our advanced technology and creative energy to run away, we use it to help our planet be happy, healthy, and hopeful for generations to come. What do you think? <laughs>